if you look out, you think, well, there's some people that are more important than me, you know, because they seem to be doing more important things or the press covers them more or they're writing books or they're doing whatever they're doing. They seem important out there in the world. You know, they're making statements that that people, everybody, do, you know, they really pay attention to them. What can I do? What difference does it make what I do? But think about it. We all, like you said it so beautifully, we all take the same breath. You know, they, they need a breath too. They go to, they have to sleep just like you have to sleep. They have to get up and get dressed just like you have to get dressed. They have to go to the bathroom just like you remember. That was the old speech thing. Just imagine it that we all have to go to, bath, to the bathroom. So that equalizes everything. We all do. There are some things that just equalize us. The, the president of the United States does exactly the same stuff you do. You know, that's what unifies us. us. That's what connects us. You know, we're all connected in the same way. And so if we can kind of remember that, that we're all the same, it gives us kind of a, a great universal way of looking. Now, add to it the fact that we want to know ourselves. We can, if we can see we're all kind of the same like that, now recognize we're all created like love like itself. We're all the same in that as well. No matter what some of us, the covers some of us may have that may seem more unlovable than others. That is the reality. That's the thing that unifies everybody. Some of us have taken on habits and patterns that maybe everyone would agree with. It's not a very loving approach to life. Some of us have taken on more angry thoughts than others. Uh, some of us are easier to love than others. There's, you know, all sorts of things make up all sorts of people. But at the basis of everything, just like we all take the same breath, we're all breathing this oxygen on this earth. And at some place, we're all breathing the same breath. You know, they kind of, that's the whole butterfly effect that a butterfly flaps its wings here and the, the breeze is felt, you know, all around the planet. Same thing is true for our breath. You know, I mean, we're all breathing at some point in time, the same breath. You know, so we're, we're unified in that. We're the same truth. You know, we are love, which created us like itself. That's the same. Uh, I remember that wonderful story that the, the, about the Dalai Lama. I've told this before at a fundraiser where he was invited to come to a fundraiser. People paid, I don't know, you know what people pay at a fundraiser, I don't know, $10,000 a plate or $5,000 a plate for some, you know, raising money for something or other. And the Dalai Lama was there and he, and you know, after eating, everybody's waiting to hear his words of wisdom. And he walks up and he stands behind the little podium and he looks out at everybody and makes sure he's made eye contact with everybody and he opens his mouth and we're all listening. What's he going to say? And he says, love one another. Looks at everybody with the same gentle, loving look and smiles and walks back to his seat. Everybody in the audience is uh, mumbling like, did I just pay ten thousand dollars for love one another i couldn't you know and and all and he get, almost gets to his seat and goes oh, 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 oh and he walks back up and everybody's oh my god it was just yanking my chain he comes back up and he says again looks at everybody and, and if you can't love everybody just don't hurt anyone <laughs> and then he walks back <laughs> to myself you know and if you think about that Right about this time, you know, to me, that's about as simple as it gets. Meaning, don't hurt yourself. Don't hurt anybody else. So you need to have the motivation to stop hurting yourself. And that's what this lesson would say here in this number six. It says, I would see you as my friend. Why? Because I want to remember you're part of me. We share this breath of life, this love that created us. And because I want to come to know myself. Love created me like itself.